Hey guys, Rivenet here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Back again for another Sunday episode. Oh my god, can you believe it? I'm actually keeping a schedule and I've been doing so for almost a month now. Yeah, I know. It's incredible. So I hope everyone's enjoying themselves today. I, I'm i going to get into a bit of stuff here in a minute. I'm going to do a quick talk about what I know about the status of Cube World. I'm going to go into depth with the stuff that I know. I'm getting a lot of new people on the channel, getting a lot of the same old questions. So I kind of thought it'd be about time for me to give you guys an update video talk. Uh, nothing's changed since the last time I did it, but again, people are asking me questions all the time, so I figure I might as well address it. But first things first, I want to give you guys an update about me, because there's one thing I like to talk about more than anything is myself. No, okay. I'd rather talk about Cube World if I could. But I'll give you guys an update about what's happened with me since uh, Wednesday. Um, I've actually been sick as a dog, like like uh, bedridden my entire weekend, which was Thursday and Friday. Didn't get out of bed at all. Um, and as you can see, I'm going to be sniffling and, and kind of... Uh, you can hear it. I, I heard me uh, kind of horking back loogies in my last video after it had already gone up. So I was like, ah, oh, crap. But I can't do anything about it in the aftermath. But... Here we go. I'll do my best to not uh, gurgle the snot if I can. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really sick. Uh, bad head cold, um, sinus infection, the whole the whole shoot and match. Uh, bedridden for two days, so um, no extra videos made this week, which kind of blows chunks. Um, I did finish off Quantum Break, a new series that started the other day. If you guys are into... I don't know, just me rambling and enjoying time travel. Game is brilliant, really amazing. Um, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I was included in um, last month's Humble Monthly and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So there's 15 episodes of that ready to go. So they've all been kind of set up, done, and they're on the channel. They just have to be scheduled for the exact day that they're going live. So that'll be going on in the interim between Cube World episodes. So if you guys like my content, feel free to check out my other stuff. But if you only like Cube World, that's fine too. Because that'll be here every Wednesday and Sunday going forward. Until I decide to do it different. But yeah, so thought I'd give you guys a what's the update on the Cube World thing. And I know that people are asking lots of questions. So I figured it just might as well talk about what I know about Cube World. Uh, so far, game is from 2011. Last update we got was in July of 2013. And that's the last physical update on the game. Fixed a bunch of bugs that were in the original alpha-ish. Um, and then, shortly thereafter, the store closed, so you could not get a hold of the game anymore. Um, multitude of reasons I heard, reasonings why the store was closed. Never actually heard an official thing from Wally. Part of it was due to the fact that there was a DDoS attack on them on the website. There was another thing talking about the taxes and handling that, all that kind of thing. So what the actual reasoning was, I don't know. I just know that as of currently, if you hadn't purchased Cube World before the store closed, it is no longer able to be gotten. Now before people ask about piracy and all that kind of stuff, of course there's going to be illicit ways you can get the game. But asking me for links is not the right way to do it. I do not condone piracy. I will not offer up a link for downloading the game. The only link I will offer is to go to Picrama and download the copy that you purchased when it was available. If you have not done so, that would be on you to find ulterior means to get a hold of the game. But again, I do not offer links for pirated software. I don't condone pirated software. So by sharing said links, those links will be taken down immediately and uh, you'll be banned from commenting on my channel. Very simple, not a big, huge deal. It's just, these are my rules, my house, my rules, as we say. But anyway, the game has not been updated for now. This July will be five years, which is a long frickin' time. Uh, so there's been no actual physical updates, but there has been a multitude of tweets and updates from Wally on Twitter. And, Instagram, I do believe, there was a couple of things that he was doing. Um, in the stuff that he's promising that's coming out, that he's shown footage of, uh, first off, a whole bunch of new music, um, which sounds really cute, adorable. Of course, it's cute world music. It's going to be fun. I don't enable it in this because, well, I just feel that um, I've heard it a billion times over, so I don't have it. But there's a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, and as for the game, he's done a bunch of changes to it. Um, as you guys can see down below, I've got one, two, three buttons. If you take a look, I've got mouse one, mouse two, one, two, and three. But you'll see four, 
I hit four until I'm blue in the face and nothing happens. The reason being, we never got a fourth unlock. And even if I happen to go into my character thing, uh, one, a two, a three, nothing on four. So, uh, the fourth ability he's been working on. Uh, for mages, that means you will have the ability to, I think fire mage will have the ability to shoot laser beams, which would be freaking amazing. Basically what he's done is he's allowed the regular characters to have access to the boss, um, use the, the boss special abilities that they have seems kind of fair i've been playing five years without them it's about time for me to have access to some of those cool things i would love to shoot freaking laser beams out of my hands that would be great please wally give me the freaking update so i can shoot laser beams out of my head um but yeah um uh yes yeah, so he's got all that kind of stuff is on the works the other thing is uh, a bunch of new armor uh one of which i'm very excited about because it's rivet armor um, which, again, if you guys knew Armor Time, myself, back in the day, we were playing as the Face Wreckers, so it was kind of funny. We thought that Wally was paying attention to us because he named Armor after the two of us. Get it? Rivet. Armor. Get it? Aha! So, but no, I don't think Wally watches us. If he does, he's probably embarrassed and doesn't want to deal with us because we make a travesty of his game because we're goofballs, we have fun, and I sometimes swear. So, that is what it is. But yeah, multitude of new things that he's planning to do with armor, new crafting system for that, which would be phenomenal. Um, also, multi-tiered quests is another thing he's been talking about having. So that means, like, as of right now, if you take a look at the map, we have this. That is our quest. I can go to said quest, kill the boss, and win the, win the quest. That's it. Uh, so his intention is to have multi-tiered quests, which means you'll go to one place, which will say go to another place, which will then say go to another place, do said thing, kind of like you do right now with regular RPGs, that kind of thing. So in, in multi-tiered questing is going to be phenomenal according to me. I like the idea. I'm excited for it. But uh, we don't have that yet. But I can't wait. Uh, another thing is he's revamped the dungeons. Um, so there's going to be a lot more randomization inside them as it is right now there's a few formats that you run into uh once you found one you found them all um so that's fine but the one thing that i've always found to be problematic is that when i get into a dungeon i can't pull up the map if i pull up the map i'm gonna see this no matter where i'm at if i'm in a dungeon inside a pyramid nothing uh so he's actually upgraded the map to incorporate when you're in a dungeon so you only see the dungeon bits Phenomenal. The map itself has been updated. Um, going to be much different. Um, instead of as it is right now, you got this thing here. When you pull up the map, it'll be kind of like it is up in the top left corner. Or top right corner. I can't do lefts and rights. Just it's a thing. I have an issue. But yeah, the top right corner, the way that the, that, that map is, will be kind of how our map will be. Um, he's also revamped the cities because that's again it's tied together because of the mapping thing. But yeah, the cities are going to be much bigger, much broader. Um, your capital cities are going to have like walls on them. There's going to be a lot more in the town. NPCs will be uh, more engaging. So they'll actually be the ones giving you some of the quests sometimes and things to do. Um, so he's fleshing out this to be more and more of a real RPG um, instead of the really light version that it is currently, which is cool. Um, so anyway, there's a bunch more updates. Go follow Wally on Twitter. Uh, there'll be a link in the description down below if you want to go read through his historical things. He's got little video clips and stuff. He can do a much better job of showing you what he's intending than I can ever talk about because I'm just here playing the game talking about it where you can actually go and witness what he's done. Um, that would be my recommendation. But uh, the last update that he gave us was in July of 2017 was on Twitter. Um, and that's been it. Nothing more since. Um... The year before, it was like, or a year, but a year and a bit before, it was like in October, The he just had like a flurry of like, there was update after update after update news. Like he just like came out of nowhere after like a two year, three year hiatus, and then just was like blowing up Twitter. Um, so there was a massive amount of uh, people going, oh my god, it's coming back. <laughs> yeah. And I sneezed, told you I'm sick, I can't help myself. And I'm not going to edit that out. So yeah, uh, he blew up Twitter there for a while. It was like daily tweets for, oh God, it was like six months. It went from like a couple a day to daily to weekly to monthly to every other month to every six months. And maybe now every year, who knows? Who knows what he's going to do with it? It's Wally. 
he kind of likes to hermit himself around and disappear for a while every now and again. And again, I get it. I get it. I've heard rumors that he, they, him and Pixie had a child. Never heard, like, I don't know anything official. <gasps> troll, troll, troll. Is this the tree? Tro no, Yeti. Which one's the troll? The troll kit? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, God. It's Rick. <laughs> it's Troll Rick. <laughs> oh, Dream. I love you, man. I absolutely love your mods. Uh, if you guys are curious, too, if you're brand new to the channel, you're wondering how the heck I got Rick from Rick and Morty into the game. Uh, Dream ACH 20. 20. Is it 20? Oh, geez, Dream. I just call him Dream ACH. Dream. I call him by all the time. Uh, there is a link to his channel down below. He actually creates a lot of the mods that I... Actually, all the mods. I don't say a lot. He, he creates all the mods that I use. Um, lovely young man. Met him playing Trove uh, with Armor Time. And he, he was very helpful with the face records. Helped develop like our face records base and stuff on Trove. And then he's been instrumental on helping me out here on, uh, on my channel with Cube World. Uh, even so far as when I was streaming on a regular basis, he came up with the idea of the chat army, uh, slamming his forehead into his keyboard, typing gibberish, and then had a following of people that were going along with it. Loved it. Um, definitely, that dream has got an amazing spirit, an amazing creativity, and that's why I will continue to play his mods as long as he produces them, and I will continue to promote him because I love promoting excellence. I like pe people that are creative. I've said this before, I love creative people, and, uh, you know, if you're creative and you're doing something cool that I can, like, use and, like, get something out of myself, because I'm entertained by the fact that he's so creative, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, Dream's link is in the description down below. Oh, so a couple of my friends uh, mentioned Armor Time. His link is down below. Um, he has a plethora of Cube World episodes historical. Uh, he hasn't put out anything in a little bit. He's been focusing more on Twitch and life, a little bit and pieces of everything. Is that, you're not a boss, are you? No, you're just Bumblebee. Squish Bumblebee. Um, yeah, Armor's been taking a bit of a hiatus uh, and I get it. I can absolutely understand it. You know, you can get disenfranchised and disinterested with the whole YouTube sucks kind of thing. Cause it's, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of a, a bit of a mess, but you know what? I don't care. I'm here to have fun. You know, my end goal has never been to become YouTube famous. If that was the, the thing, then I'd be doing really crappy, shitty live videos of me acting a fool, which I could do because I am pretty much a fool, but I'm not about that. I don't really care. What I like to do is play video games, talk, have fun. I like to eat weird, fun foods, um, you know, and I like hanging out with my son. Um, oh god, heaven forbid that that's what I want. Um, you know, I, I just don't really care. You know, fame is fleeting. I've seen people catch a, a taste of fame, and I see it destroy their lives and stuff. And if it ever happens to me, so be it. You know, I may crash and burn with it, or I may just suck it up and deal with it the way that I think I would, which is to be an adult and to, you know, enjoy it for a while I have it and then not miss it when it's gone because, you know what, I just, I'm happy with who I am, being the person I am, you know, I like playing video games and hanging out with you guys and hanging out with family, that's, you know, that's my life, that's, I'm cool with it, you know, I don't need the riches, be nice, I, I, trust me, I would love to not have to worry about work anymore, it'd be phenomenal, if this was my full-time job, if I made enough money to live on just by doing YouTube and stuff, That'd be cool. I mean, that's not a horrible dream at all. I mean, I don't think that's unattainable, but I don't count that as fame. I think that if you market yourself well and you do things properly, it's not unattainable. It's like it's a, any small business you have, you've got the chance of, you know, getting things and making it happen for yourself. But that's, you know, that's another story for another day. But as for the Cube World update news, that's what I've got. Nothing amazing. There is no new world news, Cube World news from Wally. Um, your guess is as good as mine when the update's going to come out. Your guess is as good as mine when we're going to hear anything else from him. Um, feel free to ask questions in the comments down below. I do my best to answer them. Um, but, again, I'm getting a multitude of the same questions over and over again, which is, where is QWorld? How do I get it? Where can I get my free download? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, and 
going forward, I'm just going to ignore those comments because they've been answered ad infinitum. All you have to do is call Google, people. Look it up. Where do I get Free Q World? And you realize that the game is no longer for sale. You know, and if you feel so inclined to download a bootleg copy and you get a virus, so be it. That is your... That's on you, buddy. It's not my deal. I don't condone it. I won't be offering any suggestions on how to do it. And I certainly will not be offering any suggestions on how to remedy the situation when you've got a nasty virus and your computer's blown up. That's not my bag. It's why I don't do that. Don't care. Never have cared. I buy my video games because I do. Even when I was a poor college student and I had no money, I would uh, save up what little I had for my Nintendo games back in the day. You know, I remember saving up for, God, six months to buy a Nintendo... Uh, the regular Super Nintendo. That was like that was a huge deal for me, um, and I had three games that I got with it. The one that came with it, and then I saved up and got two more. Um, and it was that was Contra and RC Pro Racer. Um, the reason I remember because they're the only games I owned for a year. <laughs> you know, it's what I had. I mean, it's all the money I had in the world. Um, you know. We, we had piracy. There was stuff we could have done, but not with Nintendo. Uh, oh, dear God. This is going to suck. This is going to be hell. Uh, we're going to just kind of hang out here until we die because it's going to happen quick. I mean, I can have potion after potion. Oh, I'm out of potions, so that's not going to be any help to us. We're going to die here really quick. There we go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> oh, well. But anyway... That's going to be it for today, guys. I do want to thank you once again for all your continued support here on the channel. And as I said, there's links in the description down below to some of the people that have made this all possible. Like I mentioned before, Armor Time, Orgeron Kit, Dream ACH, and Grumpy L. I uh, just actually watched his second episode of Cube World. Thanks again, everybody. Um, he had a whole lot of love on his first episode. His second episode looked like it was getting good traction. Makes me very happy. I love when people that I know try new things, make a go of it, and actually make something out of it. Tickles my fancy endlessly. But once again, everybody, thanks again for all your support here for me on my channel, and I will see you guys on Wednesday in our next episode of Cube World, or if you're so inclined, there's going to be a bunch of episodes of Quantum Break in the interim. Feel free to watch and enjoy. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.